Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Plane Program. This is a series in which I take suggestions for real life planes I have to build in Kerbal Space Program, such as uh, the Fokker DR Wolf or the Net, as many as well as many other things. Uh, and I make them, or I take challenges. Uh, and today is going to be our first ever challenge. Uh, we're on episode whatever we're episode run now, and we haven't done a challenge yet. Whoa, drifty, drifty. Whoa. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the traffic is always hilarious in this game. Um, so the pl uh, the challenge we have is we have to create a jet fighter capable of launching four missiles and dropping a bomb. Quite a simple challenge. Uh, we're going to be basing it off of the new Mark II stuff. This is beta 0 0.90, the new Kerbal Space Program update. Um, I have recorded one uh, for this, but I decided to uh, use it somewhere else first, uh, due to the fact that this is, of course, benchmarking week. I'm trying to find out what you guys enjoy. Liquid fuel, yes. It's going to be relatively small, it's not going to be massive, which is different to what I usually do on this. Um, the bomb also does not have to be um, over the top. People are texting me, but I'm afraid I have to ignore you for a little bit. Uh, in, the other, in the episode that you won't be seeing until after the benchmarking week, um, I did uh, like a speed build. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this or not, but if I do, cue the music. Or if not, uh, let's try and keep this going. Um, so the missiles, um, no sort of defined look. Um, Utility is more what I want. Uh, no sort of defined look, really. Um, I'm, just, I'm basically just going to make it a fuel tank, I think. That's too small, but then this is too big. It's a bit annoying. So there we are. That's where our bomb can drop out of. And our bomb is just going to be a fuel tank. Because... Because uh, easiest to do. Uh, can I mount that in there? I can. It's just first I need uh, a stack decoupler. Uh, liquid fuel. You go on there as well. Zoom out a little bit. Engine. Couple of turbo jets. Okay, now that has been in. Now that what? Why is the bomb not installed? Why can I not? What the hell is going on? I have a better idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to do this. Then put that on it. I'm going to take it away, put that back, then re-add this. And that works. Good. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to grab this and do an old, whoops, EE -E job. And we'll close it up. Bzzz. Is it going? No. 
Buzz, there we go. Right, let's zoom out. Let's try and get some... It's already bigger than I want it to be, but I want to try and get some fighter... Uh, fighteriness about it. Fighteriness, yay for words. Um, I fucking hate them, because I'm always criticised by how badly I spell them. Uh... <laughs> Oh god, um... That's what happens when you don't pass your English the first time, amigo. The wing really isn't long enough to fit the amount of uh, missiles that I really want. Um, it's good, I should remember I have these, they're useful. Um, small delta wing, there we are. I don't really want that, I want something a bit less... That's more like it, yeah! Uh, and I want two large... Maybe not quite that large. <laughs> they don't actually look that large by the time I have them fitted. Fitted. And an elevon. There. Uh, we also want a couple on these. Like a so. <clears throat> there we are, so that's the jet fighter and the bomb. Um, what we sort of need now is some structure. Structural pylon. I like I like a lot. I like it a lot. Shite. That was the main thing I was complaining about in the video you'll see after benchmarking week. The fact that there is no control Z still in this game. Or control Z, control Z, however you want to pronounce it. There we are. Missiles. Um. Yes. Uh, so we're going to need a missile body. I'll tell you what, this is the type of thing you should really... Right, so this is... Four missiles. One bomb. Sounds like a porno. Uh, right, so we'll save that, and then we'll do new. Uh, and the reason why we're doing these is we're going to build the missiles on their own, um, so they're a bit easier to sort out. So let's go to structural. So here's our missile. It's going to have a sep. It's going to have a couple of the separatrons. Uh, two there. And to the oh, 
So that'll do. Why you not symmetrical? That's a bit more like it. Right. Um We could add some very, very tiny. Um I don't think we have any really small enough. <laughs> That's our missiles. Uh all good is we're gonna drag that into Sub assemblies. This is going to be a missile. Save. So now I need to load four missiles, one bomb. And then we need to load our missile. I want two of them. Why would I put them there? Look at that! I like that. I like it a lot. What the crap? There we are. It looks so cool. Um, make you go away. We're gonna grab some utilities in the shape of some uh, landing gear. Rotate feature. Um. That's good. Uh, one thing we do need is, of course, some uh, intakes. I would like to put a fair few on. So there we have it. I'm just, I need, need to. Uh, there they go first. Don't know why I got this structural thing under my mouse. You know where my mouse is because of where the structural bob is. I want you to open. So I want the engines to fire first. Then I want to drop. Oh god, this might be a nightmare. So I'm gonna have four missile drops. One of them is gonna be... Which one? Which one are you? This one. No, I just want one of you. That one, right, okay. You're the first one to be launched. So we need... Not any of those. Any of these? These look like they're going to be an absolute nightmare. I might end up... Just, uh Launching them all together because that hasn't quite worked out how I wanted it to. So I'm just gonna go hellfire on whatever we're launching at because um, it's gonna be too hard to sort of try and like if I look at that one, it gets four of them because they're duplicated. I think like they'll end up all four of them going off at the same time. So sod it. Um, I need you lot to be joining in here. That's that one. So that one could be its own separate diddly squat. Uh, go in there. And then go last. So the bomb will be something different. Um, wait. Which way does this one go again? Hope, hopefully it goes that way first. I think it's what it will do. 
Anyway, so let's save and launch. Hopefully the structural thing will go away. <laughs> We're going to attempt to bomb. Bomb the new explodable that area. Whatever it's called. Right, we're going to engage computers. I forgot to actually install some um, canals, but we'll see how good it is. Let's uh, close our bomb, bomb bay doors. And... Stability assist, anti-normal. Just do some stability assist. Full power um, Melsian modus from inside the cockpit. Rotate. Rotate. Get in the air. Here we are. That is rather sedate on the pitch. Gear up. Yes, that is ridiculously sedate on the pitch. In fact, in fact, we're going in. We're going in, ladies and gentlemen. Activate the gear. Wow, that is the closest. Oh wait, I lost all of my missiles off the bottom. Away! <laughs> Should we unload the bomb bay doors and practice a bomb dumping? Okay, everybody, dumping bomb in three. Let me just sort of level out first. Two, one. Well, that was a disaster. We might have to put some separatrons on it to make it blast down. Uh, but oh well, let's let's revert to um, space plane hangar. Because it took me a million years to get back to that horrible pitch control. We're going to uh, improve the pitch control using some aerodynamics. Or should it keep that on? Yep. That'll improve aerodynamic properties. Um, we also need to put some. You might have got caught on them actually. I'll move them further back. Why are you so strange? Oh, Tyre, why are you so strange? Oh, sod it. Utility. Uh, what? What we'll do is we'll have one sep is we'll have some separatrons attempting to get this out a little easier. Um, there. And so hopefully it won't just get pinged backwards. In fact, can I turn the force down? All I really want you to do is just disconnect. No, I can't change the force. Literally, all I just want you to do is go. I don't even know if you can hear that. Uh, that tap was. <laughs> Sacked a couple of. Uh, ejection force 250, ejection force 15. Now, see, that would be better. Can I get you over there? Yes. Get rid of that. Where did you go? You are here. Go there. Are you going to be a pain in the ass again? Yes! Yes is the answer to that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to borrow an engine. And we're going to borrow one of these. Don't be an awkward bugger now. We're going to be an awkward bugger. You 
You see? No need to zoom all the way in and try and grab this out the middle. There we are. Right. Put the plane back together. Put you back in the bomb doors. In fact, no, that's still wrong. I need to... There we are. Oh, I see. Them under blast. I need to re add that. Well, that's not bad. Okay. And we need to put an engine on the back. We need to close the cargo bay door and we shall attempt again. Let me just make sure that that is alright. Yes, you, right, you need your separate own thing. Right, yes, you got that. Right! We shall... Oh, and you two also need to go up there. These little, uh... The engines that are going to try and squeeze it out the bottom. Uh, so hopefully that should just drop it, and then the things will go... And uh, make it come down. Uh, in fact, are they the wrong way around? Let me do rotate. I need to make sure it's straight, otherwise that will end in a disaster. There we are, right, okay. Right, lock the bomb bay doors. Oh no, I need to switch to this mode. Sorry for the interruption, let's see how it performs. We are modifications. Computers. Full power. That's much better. Look at that. Let's head straight at the vehicle assembly building. Whoops. Uh, let's head into the cockpit. That's a bad idea. Let's get out of the cockpit. And we'll call this a mis a misrun. Or will we? Or will we? Or will we? Let's see what happens when we drop a payload. What? <laughs> they sort of did what I wanted them to do. We have ascended from the line of fire, or from the line of ground fire, that is. And when we get to the top, we shall come out to the side. I need to put the right headphone in my ear. And pull out. Wait, we need to open the door. We won't even know that we've opened the door to bomb them. Are we ready, everybody? Let's go. That's a bit scary to watch. So I've just learned that Z is full throttle. Like a couple of episodes that you didn't see ago. 
we're going to attempt to drop the bomb on the vehicle assembly building. And let's just try and descend a little bit. And bomb deployed. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so things. Okay, so things seem to be a touch. Uh, for, they seem to go a lot further forward than I would have thought. So for the missiles, I'm going to launch them when I get over this. Uh, let's go a bit higher. It just wants to go up now. It's fantastic. All right, we're going to go around. We've got plenty of power with our two engines. Chase cam engaged, maybe? Possibly. I need to get this plane turning. Well, there we are, look at this. I'm going to declare that a missed approach. Going around. Right, we're going to descend, head for... Turning around... Turning around, turning around, bum, 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 turning around, turning around. Right, so let's kill the throttle for a minute. I said kill the throttle for a minute. Zed, so we can get away as soon as we release the missiles. And now, release! They did not reach the target. Damn. Want to blast. I want to try something. Let's launch it. Oh my god, no. Open. Oh god. Well, now we've learned what happens if I ever do that. I want to see if I can land this. I don't think I'm really in control of it. But I am heading for the runway. Just try and land. Th not that way up, the other way up. Landing gear. Let's build another one, shall we? Ready and checking off. Go on, pull up. Let's go, let's go immediately. 
for the dodo. And we shall launch the missile. The building is damaged. That building is also damaged. That satellite dish is getting a pummeling. Okay, let's prepare to drop the bomb. Prepare to drop the bomb on the VAB. And I forgot to open the doors, damn. <laughs> They know we haven't left. I must now fly inverted so they don't see the bomb doors around. Okay, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. I am gonna have to loop back around. This could have been a massive fail. Um ooh. Ha <laughs> We've had some close shaves with this plane. Prepare to launch in three, two, one. Missed Damn. Close the bomb bay. Dam and blast. Okay. We need to head for the tower and buzz them. Give them a scare. Ooh. Ooh. And I fed That wasn't really an knife head, but still it looked freaking cool. Then let's just pretend that in a tactical situation we lost an engine and it just shut down. Could I perform an emergency landing? With just one engine, get down inside the cockpit. Tensions are high. Ah, hello. <laughs> okay, let's go in for the turn. Engine is shut down. We have the runway out of our left mirror. Not mirror, window. We need to turn in. We're going to miss the runway. Woo! I genuinely cannot see what's going on. Woo! We have definitely missed the runway at the moment. Attempting to get the aircraft back on the runway. Did we land? Yes! In fact, we've taken off again. How do I reactivate an engine? Activate engine! I wonder what the stall speed of this is.
and if we can punch out of it. If I was just to send something go boom and boom. And we are dropping from the sky. Inverted flying Inverted landing. That's actually an idea for a challenge. Create a plane you can land forwards, backwards, uh, and well, not left and right, but maybe upside down. Let's try and do it with this though. We need a really smooth, gentle landing on the runway. On the runway. Possibly not on the runway. Because I need to slow it down. Yep, we're not gonna end up on the runway, but I gotta I'm gonna try and end up before this hill. So I'm gonna descend, I'm gonna raise the nose. Oh, we sort of survived. What's that piece going over there? We sort of survived. Um, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. Remember to subscribe and remember to like this video. Uh, I mean, just your views help. But um, if you like the video, let me know if you like the video or not, and if it should continue due to the fact that it is, of course. Benchmarking week. If you're not sure what exactly that is, feel free to do a search on the channel and find out what it is. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Vessel is destroyed. <laughs> Cheerio.